You summoned? Monsieur Dorian, we have a task for you. More fetch and carry work, I imagine. Two master assassins are dead, one by your own hand in defense of a Templar. Count yourself lucky this is the extent of your punishment. And Germain? It's none of your concern. Last night, the Paris Commune declared itself an open insurrection against the King. As we speak, 20,000 armed revolutionaries are laying siege to the Tuileries. Even the National Guard are on the brink. Some of them have thrown in with the revolutionaries. France is splitting at the seams. And this doesn't please us. The people are fighting for what is owed them. Liberté, égalité. If we danced about on a simple scale in need of balancing, you'd be right. But the truth is more complicated. In putting Mirabeau's affairs in order, we've come across certain correspondences of a royal nature. Mirabeau's in contact with the king. And he was rather less discreet than he should have been. If the king's copies of these letters were made public, the Templars would be in a position to expose and purge our agents across France. And I'm to slip in and find them first. And quickly. The Swiss Guard are badly outnumbered. It's likely they'll be overwhelmed before nightfall. Won't be the first palace I've broken into. Ready? Aim! Fire! Good work. Back to your posts. certainly don't look like a blood-crazed revolutionary. The hood is a bit sinister, though, if you don't mind my saying. Serving as rear guard, are you? Convenient how that puts several locked doors between you and the fighting. Oh, I'm not here at all. Not officially, anyway. But how often does one find the opportunity to poke about in a king's private study? Looking for anything in particular? State secrets, private correspondences, personal treasures, that sort of thing. I do hope we're not eyeing the same prize. Name it. Certain letters written to the king, ripe for misunderstanding, should the wrong men find them. I see. Well, then perhaps we can help each other. I believe the king has built a hidden vault somewhere in here. If only we could find it. saying very nicely done my friend incredible find your prize a cornucopia yes and you believe so yes this is it. That should take care of that. May I suggest we leave? Quickly! What is that? Our way out. Cover me, would you? Just well a bit done. longer! <sighs> Let's go. Search everything! I want those documents! Him! Damn! Yes, Captain Rui has that effect on people. Friend of yours? 
persistent thorn I haven't quite managed to pluck out. He has information I need. I need to get back up there. In this mess, you'll never find him again. Come with me, I have a better idea. You handled yourself well back there. I don't suppose you've ever considered military service? I'm not much for following orders. Ah, the bane of generals and statesmen everywhere. An individualist. I know the feeling. Men like us have a great advantage over most in the army. You see, we can think for ourselves. If you joined up today, you'd be a marshal in ten years, guaranteed. A generous offer, but no. Where the heart leads, a man must follow. Look me up if you ever change your mind. Bonaparte is my name. Napoleon Bonaparte. Second lieutenant of artillery. For now. Arno Dorian. A pleasure. And as a personal favor, if anyone asks, I was never here. Watch the whole thing from a furniture shop across the carousel. A face in the crowd, of course. Just a moment. You may want to take cover. Everything all right, sir? Fine, Corporal. Superb shot. Regular drills are critical to a regiment's success. We should be going, sir. We part ways here. What about Rui? Give me a few days. I'll see what I can learn of his current posting. Perhaps I can arrange an introduction. Be well. This morning, I was accosted by three men carrying some poor soul's head atop a pike. Seems they mistook my uniform for a mark of nobility and demanded I shout, Long live the Republic, to prove my allegiance. I suppose handing out tricolor cockades is now passe. What did you do? I shouted, Long live the Republic. A man of principle. Life is more valuable than dignity. But. This is what happens when you give command of the government to half-starved lunatics and command of the army to bloodthirsty savages. Rui. I wanted him assigned to some out-of-the-way garrison, but the man redefines the term friends in high places. He's untouchable. But you know where I can find him. Rumor about the barracks is that he and a unit of his cronies plan on marching on the Grand Châtelet this afternoon. If he were to meet with an accident, few in France would suffer. My career certainly wouldn't. Well, practice your speech making. Get their weapons. Nobody try anything. Come on, boys! Find me a warden!
orders to remove us from this hall. You must also get authority to use force. For we shall yield to nothing but bayonets! Ah, but to administer is to govern. To govern is to reign. That is the essence of the problem. Mr. Mirabeau. Pathetic, isn't it? Surely, France deserves better. What was that? Palais de Luxembourg. Roy, clean up your mess, it's tight. Told you I could make him talk. You've done well, Captain. Brie. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Good. Starve them. Through famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. What you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster. If not two. 